In a bid to address the persistent challenge of traffic congestion along the Tema motorway, Ghana's Minister for Roads and Highways, Mr. Francis Asen Subwachi, recently embarked on an inspection tour of Phase 2 of the Tema motorway project. During his visit, Minister Asen Subwachi expressed his satisfaction with the progress of the project, urging the contractors to expedite their efforts for a potential early completion by October 2024. I am happy to see at first hand the rate of progress that is currently happening here, remarked Minister Asen Subwachi highlighted the government's unwavering commitment to ensuring the timely completion of this vital infrastructure initiative. Before we continue on today's video, if you are looking for engaging and informative content, you've come to the right place. Our YouTube channel is a treasure trove of knowledge, entertainment and inspiration. By hitting that subscribe button, you are signing up for a front row seat to our exciting journey. So make sure to subscribe now. Construction of the Tema Motorway began in 1957 under the leadership of Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The project was part of Nkrumah's ambitious vision to modernize the country's infrastructure and propel its economic growth. The motorway was officially opened to traffic in November 1965, marking a significant milestone in Ghana's development journey. Over the decades, the Tema motorway has undergone several upgrades and expansions to meet the evolving needs of Ghana's rapidly growing population and economy. These efforts have included the construction of additional lanes, interchange improvements, and the implementation of modern traffic management systems. One of the most significant developments in the motorway's history came with the initiation of the project for improvement of the Tema Motorway Runabout Phase 2. This project, funded by a generous grant from Japan, aims to further enhance the motorway's capacity and efficiency by converting the roundabout into a two-tier intersection and constructing a third-tier flyover to separate true and left turning traffic. Phase 2 of the Tema Motorway project, aptly titled Project for the Improvement of the Tema Motorway Roundabout Phase 2 aims to alleviate traffic congestion at the Tema intersection. Building upon the success of Phase 1, which saw the conversion of the roundabout into a two-tier intersection back in June 2020, Phase 2 focuses on constructing a third-tier flyover to separate true and left turning traffic. The Tema Motorway stands as a testament to Ghana's commitment to modern infrastructure and economic development. Its history dates back to the late 1950s when Ghana, then known as Gold Coast, was under British colonial rule. The idea of constructing a motorway to link the port city of Tema to the capital, Accra, emerged as part of Ghana's post-independence development plans. The project aimed to facilitate the movement of goods and people between these two important economic centres, as well as to alleviate traffic congestion within Accra. Founded by a generous $27 million grant from the Japan, this ambitious project seeks to enhance urban mobility, logistics, and trade integration not only in the greater Accra region, but also across the ECOWA sub region. Addressing concerns related to tax exemptions, Minister Asen Subwachi revealed that he had engaged in fruitful discussions with the Ambassador of Japan to Ghana ensuring the seamless continuation of the project without any hindrances. Originally slated for completion by December 2024, Minister Asenso Boache's directive to expedite the project aimed to bring relief to motorists and the public sooner, potentially commissioning the project by October 2024. As Ghana continues its journey towards sustainable development, Initiatives like the Tema Motorway Project underscore the government's unwavering commitment to improving infrastructure and transforming urban mobility for the betterment of all citizens. Thank you for tuning in. Your support means the world to us. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more engaging content. Together, let's keep the conversation going and explore exciting topics. Subscribe now and be part of our community today.